Alrighty, TGIF, your full weather forecast brought to you by Scott's Recreation, New England's largest trailer dealer, home in Maine's lowest camper and tractor prices. With locations in Turner, Manchester, Herman, and Orono, Maine. Beautiful out there this afternoon. That's the best way to put it. We have high pressure just off for the south and west, so our radar and satellite is taking a nice break right now, at least in our neck of the woods. So with high pressure right nearby, keeping us very nice safe, but we'll be watching this next system moving in soon. So my Sunday or so, We'll be watching out for showers and thunderstorms that will be possible. Things kind of stall out a little bit as we head towards the next week, so chances for showers will continue as we head towards the next week as well. We have a couple systems we have our eye on right now, though. One, and I don't think either of them are going to impact us at all. We're watching the Invest 91L right now. That's tracking towards the west, northwest at about 13 miles per hour. Winds up to 35 miles per hour at this point. But further off towards the north, though, here, say hello to Tropical Storm Danielle, the first tropical system in the Atlantic in the last couple months. So finally a few systems developing there though. Winds up to 70 miles per hour, moving to the east at 3 miles per hour. But we're going to be watching things kind of moving around, moving forward. Let's start with Invest 91L. It's going to be moving to the north and west and eventually tracking out towards the north and east. That's what the current spaghetti models are currently thinking. But further off towards the north though, this thing is going to make a little bit of a loop. They kind of eventually track back off towards the north and east. Kind of, it's supposed to gain category two hurricane strength at some point as we head towards the weekend. Now I depart but by parts of next week as well. We'll start seeing things kind of maintain that category one hurricane status, but no threat to land near us at all. Same with the Invest 91L. But our average high is 76 degrees. We'll be in the middle to upper 70s for the next few days, though. Upper 60s by your Mondays. We cool things off. Lower 70s for your Tuesday. Upper 70s for your Wednesday. Then back in the lower 80s as we head towards your Thursday. Dew points won't be too bad, though. They'll be in a comfortable territory for the next several days, maybe getting close to the 60 degree threshold by Sunday into Monday, but still remaining rather comfortable moving forward. Futurecast moving forward, a beautiful day today. Maybe a few passing clouds in a few spots. We'll be mostly clear later on tonight with some areas of dense fog. Some clouds approach as we head towards tomorrow morning, but otherwise a very nice day still. But we'll keep things looking pretty nice as we head towards Saturday night. But then it's by Sunday, we'll have to watch for the scattered showers and thunderstorms that will be possible. The middle centuries today, mostly sunny with that west breeze getting up to about 5 miles per hour. Later on tonight, lower 50s, mostly clear areas of dense fog and the wind overall looking nice and calm. And for tomorrow, upper 70s under a partly cloudy sky as South breeze getting up to about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Already Scott's recreation extended forecast chances for storms move in on Sunday. Highs in the mid 70s, upper 60s for you Monday with a chance for rain on Labor Day and Tuesday mostly cloudy highs in the low 70s.